Today, I have a time limit to make three levels in Super Mario 3D World. We will play the levels and I need you to tell me which one is the best after you watch this video. We start with a blank level, absolutely nothing in it. I have to add everything to the level and we have only one minute to make the first level. So I'm going to have to work fast. Ready? Okay, so let's go. So let's add a player. We are going to need an actual player because we need somebody to control. Let's add a block over here for our character to stand on. Let's put that a bit down. Let's move another one over. Okay, we're going to need a goal pole so that we could actually finish the level so that there is some objective. Let's add a green star also. We'll add a green star right over here. We could move it up a little bit. We could also move this green star over a little bit. Give this green star different ID so that it is another green star. And you know what? We've still got a bit of time, so let's make that green star number two and number three. We could have something like this. We could move this block over a little bit. Move that up here. Move that over. And you know what? Let's also add a Goomba right over there. Okay, this is great. And you know what? Let's Add a second Goomba right there. Oh my goodness, and let's just move that up a bit. And that's pretty great, I think. That's pretty great. I think I'm happy with that. I'm happy with how that went. So we had only one minute to make this level. Let's see how this looks like in the real game. Here we are. Okay, we've got a Goomba right over there. Oh, the other Goomba just ran off. We've got no background over here. It's looking a little plain. And, oh. And if we fall down, then there's no death area, so we're just going to keep falling forever like this, actually. But, if we are careful, we can make our way through the level, and we can complete it pretty quickly. Not bad level complete over here. We don't have a background, there isn't really a lot to this level. Let's see how much more we could do if we have 10 minutes to make the level. This level gets the Early Access Prototype Award. Here is our next level. We are starting from a blank level again, and we have 10 minutes this time. Let's see what we can make. Okay, we have got to start with adding a player again, because you do need a player to control. We are going to put a block under our player, so we do have something to stand on. And this time, let's add fixed map parts. Let's put something down here. And we can use Enter Cat Mario Middle View so that we have some kind of a background over here now. And let's also add a sky projection now that we have some time. Now we are going to have a blue sky in the background and already that is adding quite a bit to the level. Now then, instead of just having blocks that go straight across, Let's try to do something nice with these blocks to make it almost seem like some kind of a level. So let's copy over some of these blocks over here. We could have some blocks like this, and then we'll make it so that you have to do a little jump across to over there. And I think having a Goomba over here to start off might be nice. So let's add a Goomba over here. And we could do this. If we do is enable cliff check, then the Goomba won't run off the sides. We can add another Goomba over here, just drag it across that way. Now, let's have another section like this, but this one, let's make that slightly higher, so you have to jump up. Let's add a question mark block over here, and from here, let's see, how high is that? Let's go like that, and we will have this give us a Super Bell power-up. That will be nice, and we can put an invisible block over here above it. I think this could be a nice sneaky thing to do. We could line that up over there and put that a bit above it. Maybe just a little bit above it like that. And then we will have a green star up above here. So we'll have a kind of tricky green star to get near this start like that. I think that could be nice. Let's rotate it like that. Now you'll want to head over that way. Is that jump too tricky? Is that too tricky of a jump? I don't know if that's too tricky of a jump over there. Let's add, this area over here is looking a little empty, so let's add a Koopa Troopa over here. I think that could be a nice enemy to add. Have a Koopa Troopa over there, make it face that way. Let's see, how are we doing on time? Okay, doing not bad on time, still plenty of time, still plenty of time over here. Okay, and over here we could add a, one of these over here. One of these over here, and we could have it face this way. And you know what, let's copy that position, copy this position bring it up so that it's lined up perfectly with this and then we can have these over here oh but before we copy these over we want to set these stats to be right so let's see let's make that like 12 step delay let's set that to 100 
200. And let's see, hopefully that works. Okay, is connect collision. You probably want to check that one off. And let's have another pair of those over here like this. So this is a section that might be a little bit scary to go by because you're going to have these bullet bills over here. Let's see, can we make a jump like that? Yeah, if you can't make it to there, then you should definitely be able to make it on top of this bullet bill launcher over here. And we could add something kind of sneaky over here. We could add a question mark block up here. We could add a little troll over here. And this is what we'll do. We'll add a bird right here because we often have big birds when we troll. We could add a big bird over here, so this will be a warning that this block is a troll. And what this block will give, this block will give a Kinoko Big, which is the giant mushroom. It's the mushroom that will turn you huge. So if you get that mushroom, it'll actually destroy the platform that you're on. So you'll want to be careful to not get that, actually. We could add one of these over here. Right there. I think that's a good spot for it. And then we'll want a second warp box like that. Then you'll want to set these up so this teleports from there to there so this will be called dust cube and we want this to be type one so that this disappears after you use it over here or you know what let's put it up high a little bit i think that'll be nice then you have to jump up and get it you could probably jump up and do a dive to get that but that makes it a little scary to get you can also add another one put it right on top of these so you want to go here and then, we can also do one last one over there. So you have some scary jumps to do over here. Oh, and something that we really should add. Hold on, how much time do we have? Uh-oh, we are running surprisingly low on time. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this is a little scary. Okay, so you know what? Let's go like this then. This will teleport us off to over here. Okay, and then we can go like this. And we can put the goal pole over there. I want to put down a goal pole because I'm scared that we are running out of time. So let's put down a goal pole over here. We can go like that. Uh, we got the super bell over there earlier. Okay, you know what? Let's put a green star over here. This one can be the next green star. Copy that. Watch target enemy. Stage switch. We have to add one of these. Have to link that to there. Call it switch dead on we can add a stamp right over there and i think that our level is good i think that our level is good we finished right on time so let's play through the level we made in 10 minutes and let's see how this looks like in the game hopefully this is going to be better than the one minute level all right the game doesn't crash we're off to a good start and the goombas let's see do they run off the edge or no Okay, that Goomba isn't running off the edge. Okay, so the Goombas aren't running off the edge, so we are off to a good start. Let's pop on over here. Where does that go? Uh-oh. Okay, that was a little tricky over there. We can get that one, and you can kind of see... Oh, goodbye, Koopa. And you can see that the green star's up there. If we go up there... Now, how are we going to get that green star? Okay, a little tricky. We could have even put it up higher, but I think that's a good spot for it. That's nice. Okay, so we've got one of the three key pieces, and we can see what's up there ahead. We can see... Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, those guys are certainly making things difficult. They destroyed that whole middle platform and the charge and chuck. Oh, no, is the level going to be possible now? Are we going to have to bounce along the bullet bills? I hope that we don't. That would make things very difficult. Okay, let's see. Okay, we were able to get that. I don't think we can make it to there. Maybe we can jump to that second island and then jump to there? Because I don't know how we are going to get that last key piece. Let's go like this. Okay, that's very nice. That's very nice. And from here, we should be able to make it to there. It's a scary jump. And look at that bird just over there. Yeah, so we don't want to get that power up. Because if you get that, then you turn into giant Mario and then you'll break the floor over here. Okay, so let's try this. And... Oh, man, that was scary. That was scary. I didn't know if we'd make it. Oh, man. And now on the way back, we almost have to do a blind jump on the way back. Nope, but we could see. Okay, we scared away the bird. We didn't go into the warp box by accident, so we can get the stamp over here, which is very nice. Now this warp box is unlocked. That brings us to here. Okay, we've got the green star right over here and these Goombas. Let's take out these Goombas. And there we go. The final green star appears. And we can... Oh, no! The gold ball. Okay, so now... 
We should be able to just go like this. And there we go. The level is complete. What a nice level. Do you think this level is better than the level that we made in just one minute? This level gets the best bird award. We have one level left, the level that we have one hour to work on, and there's something that I didn't mention yet. If this last level gets the approved level award, then we will send this level to my secret YouTuber friend who will maybe play through this level on their own channel. I don't want to give away too many secrets of this level before we play through it, so instead of showing you the entire one hour of creating this level, let's literally and figuratively jump right into the level. Okay, here's the level that took one hour to make. Let's see how this one goes. All right, we start off in a toad house. We've got a... Toad right over here. We can bounce on him. You can't exit through here. All that we can do is go into this door. So let's go into this door. And you end up over here. And it looks like you've got to climb up here. So let's see how- Whoa! Okay, and once you go through the door, you end up over here. So let's see how this looks. You go up here. And you end up here. I don't know how high we can get. Can we get high enough like this? Oh, we can actually make it up to here. I don't know if we can make it high enough without the propeller box. Let's see. No, it looks like you need the propeller box to keep going up. So that's good. You head to here, you want to get this propeller box. And you fly up here, and can we make it all the way up with the propeller box? Let's see. Oh man! Wow, that worked great! Okay, I didn't know that we'd get to keep this. Okay, and over here, you can see that you've got a lot of Goombas coming towards you, and there are also invisible walls over here to prevent you from falling out. And you have to defeat all these enemies if you want to continue through. You might be thinking, how are we going to be able to defeat those spinies? Oh! I didn't know that happens if you try to grab a bob with the propeller bugs. Well, I guess that's what happens if you try to grab a bob with the propeller bugs. And you know what? I really like that, so I'm going to keep that in the level. There we go. Now then, let's just take damage. Can we grab one of these bombs or no? Okay, you can grab the bombs. So what you want to do is use those- oh. Okay, so let's lose the propeller box. If we could take out both of them with one bomb hit, that would be perfect. Nope, the other one's still alive. Okay, but what we could probably do is this. Let's throw it over to there. Oh, thank goodness that worked. Thank goodness that worked. Okay, and we can get the green star now. We will be able to continue through the level. There we go, and we made it to the checkpoint, so that's beautiful. Okay, so there's a sign showing us that we want to go to the right. And there are a bunch of platforms here, so you might be wondering about this. So which of these switches would you step on? Let's try stepping on them in order, and let's see what we get. Oh, if we don't die. Okay, over there you get some ceiling Goombas that fly on up. And some of the ceiling Goombas, as they walk off the edge, they continue to fly up. Goodbye- oh wait! How high do the ceiling Goombas go? Do they stop there? The ceiling Goombas just keep going up! Yeah, so the ceiling Goombas, they really like going up there. The ceiling Goombas are happy to go up there. They rested for a moment on these blocks, and then they continued up into the sky. So let's step on our next switch here. And we had some Pancake Goombas fly on up! Pancake Goombas have flown away from the level, and you'll notice that there's also a green star down there. But you probably don't want to drop down there because you die if you go down there. So let's step on the last switch now. And what happens, a pipe appears, lava appears down here, but everything becomes water so we can swim now. So now we can swim down here and get that green star there and float back up and be safe. And now we can make it over to this pipe here. Okay, so now if we go through this pipe, that brings us to an area with invisible floor like this, and the pipe disappears after us. Okay, there's a sign telling us to go this way. So we might be tempted to head on over here and see what's going on over here. So if we jump at this block, we get a fire flower, which is actually very nice, because you can see where the floor ends, because we can see that the fire flower falls over there. So you actually don't want to take the path down there, because we can see that the fire flower falls there. So that means that there's no floor here. And Mario dies if he goes there. Yeah, so what you want to do once you get to this section and you step on this switch is walk around with the fire flower and then you can use the fire flower like this. You can see where the fireballs are going to tell if there is land ahead of you or not. So you can see that the path does extend out that way, but we can also see that there's something down there. So let's try jumping to over there. And we can see that there's another platform here. There's just a coin here. And we can see that there's a stamp all the way down here at this invisible platform. 
Let's just throw our fire flowers. Let's just shoot our fireball so we know how far the platform extends. Hop on over to this one. Okay, there's a bit of platform ahead of us. Okay, and we are back on this platform. Now then, do we want to continue to the right? So what we want to do is get over to that warp box, and we can see that there's a Koopa Troopa up there. So that might look a bit suspicious. Okay, so we can't continue to the right much farther here because these fireballs start to fall. You don't want to go down because over there the fireballs also start to fall. But if we head up, we can see that we can still keep heading up for a while. But once you get to around here, you might be confused because over here it looks like there's a Koopa over there. But over here, the path doesn't continue, and what you actually want to do is continue on up because this Koopa's actually on a bit of a higher level than you. Oh, and I should- I could have made it so that you have to use that Koopa shell. That would have been very evil if you have to take that Koopa shell with you somewhere. Okay, now do we continue to the left? Now we can go left for a while, and we can finally- OH NO! And there's an invisible wall that stops you from going there. We jumped past it. And if you try to jump straight to the warp box, you actually can't make it because there's an invisible wall there preventing you from getting to it. And the same on the bottom side, there's also an invisible wall stopping you. So you do have to use the fire flower to feel your way around. Okay, now we can continue along to the left. And we can see that the fireball is landing there on the platform by the warp box, so we should be safe there. Okay, and we should be near the edge now, so let's jump! And we made it into the warp box, that is so nice! We pop out over here, we've got a super bell power up, a bunch of toads over here, and we should be able to just climb up and get the goal pole. But it is a fake goal pole! So let's go through this door, and now, this should be the real goal pole, right? Because we have got all these weird shaped toads over here, and another goal pole, but it is a fake again! And there's a little tiny warp box here! And look at what we've got over here! We've got some Meowsers! This one's facing the wrong way over here. Got a Meowser right over there, got a cutout of Bowser over there. And we have got an upside down Meowser over there! And another one right over here, another Bowser cutout over here. So let's take some of these bombs, let's throw this one at the upside down Meowser. Oh! Goodbye upside down Meowser! What's going to happen to this Meowser? Throw a bomb at him! Wow, he just flies away! Then his shadow disappears. One more Meowser! Whoa! We got hit, but we took him out! Let's describe that Bowser cutout sign right over there, and there is one last Bowser cutout sign to destroy. Let's, do we have a bomb over here? Oh, we've got a bomb all the way over here. Let's see, can we bring this bomb to it in time or will we have to dive into it? Let's try to destroy it with the bomb. And we destroyed it! There we go, and we get a green star to spawn! And the warp box, we have defeated all of the Meowsers! We got a super bell over here, lots of toads happy to cheer for us, and the level is finally complete! So that is it for the video, let me know in a comment which level is your favorite. Wait! Do you remember what I said earlier in the video? If this last level gets the approved, approved level, level award, award, then we will send this level to my secret YouTuber friend who will maybe play through this level on their own channel. So what award does this level get? This level gets the approved, approved level, level award. award. You can follow my Twitter for updates and funny stuff, and I'll make a post about when I send this level to my YouTuber friend in about a week or so. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, you might enjoy some of my other custom levels or my other videos. I hope you all have an amazing day ahead of you, and take care, everybody.